In this video, I'm going to go through Adobe Premiere, timeline movement, keystrokes, and techniques, including scroll wheel in the timeline, moves the playhead left and right, alt plus scroll wheel in the timeline, zooms in and out of the timeline, up and down arrow key, jumps to the next and previous endpoints, arrow left and right, moves one frame at a time backward and forward, shift left and right arrow, moves many frames, five frames at a time, backward and forward. Scroll in the source monitor moves one frame at a time. Shift plus scroll moves many, five frames at a time. Play audio while scrubbing. This activates hearing your audio while you're scrubbing back and forth in the timeline. The J, K, and L keys are shuttle back, shuttle stop, and shuttle forward, and then Shift, J, K, J, and L are shuttle back slow and shuttle forward slow. And then the custom keystroke, Alt, Z, move playhead to cursor. Now, when you want to scroll left and right on the timeline, most people start off by grabbing the scroll bar down here at the bottom and they grab the end point to zoom or they grab the scroll bar to go back and forth. But if the much easier way to do it is just to use your scroll wheel. So you can use your scroll wheel up and down because right and left up and down the timeline makes it much easier to uh, see your timeline, especially if you've got it uh, zoomed in um, a long way. So with the other way to zoom it in is to go like this, grab your little marker at the end of your scroll wheel, and then use your scroll wheel to go up and down. Now, a much easier way to zoom in is to hit the Alt key and the scroll, and that zooms in. So let's go back and see our whole timeline. Again, you can hit forward slash that brings in and shows your whole timeline and then if i wanted to do zoom in at a particular spot i bring my mouse to that clip or the area i want to zoom into and then i hit alt and then scroll and it zooms into that clip so it's sensitive to where you have your mouse you want to scroll at the beginning of the clip scroll it up there you want to scroll down here at the end of the at the end of the clip scroll down there and it scrolls it in again you hit forward slash oops forward slash and it brings you back it shows the whole view again if you hit forward slash again it brings you back to where you were before so that's scrolling up and down the timeline and then alt scroll zooming in and out of the timeline now the next thing we're going to do is do the up and down arrow keys and what that does is it brings you to the endpoints of tracks that you have targeted so you got to remember that you have to target your tracks first if you want to stop at the endpoints at all your tracks Highlight all your tracks, target all your tracks, and then at every endpoint, no matter what track it's on, it's going to stop. If I only want to um, stop the endpoints on V1 here, then I would turn off targeting on all the other tracks. And then I would just go and up and down arrow and going to the endpoints on track V1 only. So that's very helpful in getting to the endpoints very quickly because a lot of times you just want to be at the endpoints to insert and edit or, or create and edit, you want to be at that endpoint. So the next thing is to, if you want to um, use the uh, arrow right and left keys, and what that does is it moves one frame at a time. So the right arrow key goes forward one frame at a time. And you can see on the source mounter here, we're going one frame at a time. You can see here at 16, 17, 18, moving one frame at a time, or I could use the left arrow key and go back one frame at a time. And that's very helpful. Now, if you use the shift key, if you hold the shift key and forward arrow, you see it moves five frames at a time. Or if I use the uh, shift back or the left arrow, it goes back five frames at a time. And where the five frames at a time comes in, if you go into edit and you go to preferences and you go to playback, there's a setting in here where you can change this, and this is step forward, back many, and I have mine set to the default, which is five frames, but you can change that to uh, whatever you like. And that comes into play with um, with this and a couple other things where you use the shift key. So um, that's an easy way to move one frame at a time is to use the, your up and down arrow keys. I'm sorry, sorry, the left and right arrow keys moves one frame at a time. Another easy way to move one frame at a time is to bring your mouse into the source window and use your scroll wheel, and that will allow you to move one frame at a time also. You can move it into your source monitor and also move one frame at a time. 
Now, if you want to move five frames at a time, you hold down the shift key and now it moves five frames at a time on the source monitor or five frames at a time on the program monitor. It works the same way. That's a very, very fast way to be able to go through and scrub through your footage. Now, I prefer to have uh, audio on while scrubbing and that setting is an edit preferences audio and the setting right here is play audio with scrubbing. I prefer to have that. I actually use the sound to help me decide where I'm going to make my cuts. So I prefer to have that on. A lot of people don't like to have that on. So when I scroll through, if I use shift scroll or just scroll, I can hear my audio uh, one frame at a time when I scroll through that. Okay, four really highly used keys are the J, K, and L keys and the space bar keys. So J, K, and L are your shuttle keys. So your L is shuttle forward, your K is stop shuttle, your J is a reverse shuttle or back shuttle, and the space bar is to play and stop. Okay, so first of all, let's go look at L. So L goes forward, you tap L again, it goes a little faster, hit it again, it goes a little faster, we can hit K to stop it, you hit um, J to go back, you want J to go a little faster back, a little faster, hit K to stop. Now the other thing you can do is hit L to go forward, hit L to go forward again, but if you want to slow down, go back to that last stop, you can hit J and it, and it slows it down again. If you keep hitting J, it goes backwards. So you basically have J, K, and L. L is forward. K is stop. J is backwards. And you can hit, hit them again to go faster or slower. So if I went multiple fast, I could hit L and then hit stop. So that's J, K, and L. And of course, you have your play and, uh, play and stop with your space bars. So you use those four, K, four keys in conjunction um, and that's why they put the three of those together. Now, the one extra one that you have to that is shift and then J. And what that does is that does like super slow-mo. So that's super slow-mo backwards, J. You can hit shift J again. It goes a little bit faster. Hit shift J again. It goes a little bit faster. Hit pause. And then if you want to do the same thing, hit shift L. It goes forward, slow-mo, super slow-mo. Shift L one more time goes a little bit faster. Shift L goes a little bit faster. And then you hit K to stop. So you have J, K, and L. Shuttle forward is L. Shuttle stop is K. Shuttle backwards is J. And then shift J is shuttle backwards slow-mo. And, and uh, shift L is shuttle forward slow-mo. And the space bar is to start and stop play. Now, a custom keystroke I have set up is move um, playhead to cursor. And basically what that does is wherever I have my cursor, I hit Alt-Z and it brings the playhead to wherever my cursor is. Alt-Z and it brings it. So wherever I have my cursor, it brings it to that. It just keeps you from having to go up and grab your cursor scrub through the timeline or to go up here and click on the timeline and bring your cursor to where you want. It's just a quick way to bring your playhead to wherever your cursor is. Now there's no uh, default setup for this. You have to set it up in keyboard shortcuts and I have it here in keyboard shortcuts. I hit my alt key and you see I have it set for move playhead to cursor. If you want to set that up yourself, you just type in move uh, playhead and here it is right here. You can see I have it set up to Alt-Z and you can set this up to whatever key that you want right there. Again, that's move playhead to cursor, Alt-Z. Well, thanks for watching this video on Adobe Premiere Timeline Movement Controls. Now, knowing just a few simple techniques in Adobe Premiere can really help you move around the timeline faster and speed up your editing. Now I made a series of five videos on Adobe Premiere and just some of the simple controls in Adobe to make uh, editing go a little bit faster. So you can check out that playlist right here. If you're interested in more stuff like this, some um, DIY, all kinds of crazy stuff and cameras and Adobe Premiere and stuff like that, I really 
weird mixture of stuff on this channel, think about subscribing down there. Anyway, thanks again, and we'll see you on the next video.